Hi, welcome to the latest in the, the Irish Ancestor video series. In this one, I'm going to be talking uh, about um, how Gaelic Irish surnames came into the English language and um, some of the problems that you're going to have doing research because of that. Um, before I start off, before I go to the site and start going through it, there's a couple of things. First of all, you know, I said Gaelic Irish. Um, the, the, in Ireland, the language is called Irish. Outside Ireland, it's called Gaelic. How did that difference came about is actually quite interesting. It was called Gaelic in Ireland. The Gaelic League, which um, started the revival of the language in the 19th century, is still called the Gaelic League. Um, the Irish Sports Association that started at the same time is still called the Gaelic Athletic Association. But the language became the Irish language basically when revolutionaries took over the language revival movement um, and uh, turfed out the, the, the well-meaning um, Anglo-Irish Protestant gentry who were reviving the language and turned it into uh, an instrument of revolution, with the implication being that if you didn't speak this language, you weren't you weren't really Irish. So there's a political edge to it, but it's it's what we say in Ireland now still. So I'm um, I'm going to use the word Irish. So I'm I'm referring to the the Gaelic language, the Irish Gaelic language. If you're interested in it, there's some very good books out there on how the revival happened. But uh, and I did a blog about one of them a while back. So have a search in the blog if you want. So. Um, Let's go to the site first, and uh, then I will start. Right, here we are at the site. And before I start off, I should say that it's very hard when I'm talking about a series of surnames that came from the Irish language into the English language to do anything other than just say, here's one, look at this one. Wow, look at that other one over there. So basically, that, that's that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, the first one I want to talk about is quite special to me. Let me just do it, enter the name and show you what I mean. It's Neefsi. Okay. There we go. Neefsi. Now, this is, again, the surname dictionary is what we're going to be looking at a lot. It's a, an anglicized version, a phonetic version of Oknovshi. Okay. Oknovshach means midwife. It's one of the few. Um, matrilineal, in other words, surnames that come from the mother rather than the father. I think the only one I know of in, in Irish. Um, and it means um, midwife. The reason I picked it is that this map that you see in front of you and all the other maps, in fact, on the site were inspired by a book ma uh, by a man called Edward Neefsey called All, all New Surnames of Ireland, where he took um, the 200 most numerous surnames and plotted them from telephone directories onto a map of Ireland with a, a dot matrix plotter. And um, I, I, he produced it as a book. It's still available. It's well worth having a look at. Um, I remember looking at this and thinking 200, but I'd just done Griffiths and I, um, I realised there were 35,000 surnames. Wouldn't it be great if you could just do this on the fly? And I spent the next month knocking my head off the computer until it gave up and let me do it. So um, Edward Neefsey is the inspiration for an awful lot of what's here. One of the things about his surname, why it fits with this, Knovshuk, Neefsi, you can see that that's a fairly reasonable um, uh, transition. But Knov is also the Irish for bone. And lots of them became Bonner. Bonner, Bonner, let me just show you. And particularly in Donegal. They are up in the northwest. So Bonner, Bonner, and you can see Knovshi is the, the 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 original Irish. So some bright spark with a bit of Irish heard Knov in this, and then Bone. We call them all Boners. Okay, so Bonner, Boner. Um, and there are lots of others like that. So let's go through a few of them, a few of my favorites. Um, Comer. Comer is a very well-known name in the west of Ireland. There's some very um, famous builders of that name in, in the UK, Irish builders, originally from the area that you see there, um, east, northeast, northwest Roscommon, um, north Galway. Comer comes from the Irish O'Kiragon, okay, which also gave rise to the well-known surname Kerrigan. How did O'Kiragon become Comer? 
because the Irish for a cone is Kier. And again, some bright spoke bark said, Oh, Kier are gone. They're big cones. We call them all comers. And there they are there, the comers. Um, there are lots and lots of others. Let's go through some of them. Um, there are, for example, one of my favourites is Kidney. Um, a very well-known Irish rugby coach, Declan Kidney. Um, here they are, clustered away down in Cork, where most of them are. And Kidney in Irish is Duan. So, O Duan. Um, meaning son of the, the big black lad, basically. Okay, or son of your man, the 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 the, the dark fellow. Um, but the Irish for kidney is duan, spelt differently, but sounding kind of similar. So they became kidneys. Um, and of course it was also anglicized as duan, as divan, and God help us in Limerick as downs. So you have this original Irish. Oh, Duan, giving rise to kidney, to Duan, to Devan, to Downs. Okay. The point of me going through all of this is to undermine your faith in in your own surname. Okay. I think that's one of the most important things that um, you can learn that, that will facilitate your, your research into Irish records. Um, let me pick a few other ones. Um, victory. Here's a, a, a nice English name. Victory, and there they are, they're all in Longford. Um, Victory in Longford comes from the Irish, let's say, Mac on Baha. What the heck? How did that get turned into victory? Mac on Baha means perhaps son of the, the premature one, in other words, you know, son of somebody whose father was born prematurely, and that, that became their defining char characteristic. and that gave rise to the family. Um, the Irish Bua means victory. So Mac, Mac and Baha, some again, this bright spark with the cloth ears and the smattering of Irish thought he heard Bua in there and they became victory. Okay. They also, of course, were, um, they became Mac Oh, that won't do it if you put the V in the middle of it. So Matnabo is there. And you can see there aren't very many of them. Um, the vast majority of them had their surnames turned into victory. Um, when did all of this happen? This is one of the, the things that's quite important because you have... Uh, did it happen in the 17th century before um, these names began to be written down? Um, can you ignore these distinctions? And if your surname is Victory, can you ignore the Matt uh, The answer, unfortunately, is not. This process started in the 18th century, once the, the, the Anglo-Irish basically had won um, the war and owned the country and started making records and started writing down the word, the names that were given to them in Irish, writing them down in English. So it started at that point, but it went on right through the 19th century as well. So, for example, um, the, take the surname Mulderig, the E R R I G, Mulderig. There you are. You can see they're strongly associated with North Mayo. Mulderig comes from the Irish Omuel Darig, mean, meaning grandson of the devotee of the red-faced monk, probably red-faced person. Um, and again, this, this came into English as Reddington. See also Reddington. And I have seen the same family in Ballina, in North Mayo, in the parish register there, as Reddington in one record and Mulderig in another. The same thing with the surname Breheny, B or... E H E N Y, Brehany, that's not how you spell it. Brehany, there you are. <clears throat> you can see very strongly um, Gaelic, South, or Sligo, South Leitrim, North, North Roscommon surname. <clears throat> Brehany comes from Obrahuna, meaning grandson of the Brehan judge. That they, so this is a, a, 
the Brehan laws were the laws that governed Gaelic society up to the 16th century, the 17th century, and the people who administered it were called Brehunach, Brehuni. Um, so Brehani, it became into English as Brehani, but it also came into English as judge. Okay, and you can see it's much more widespread. And of course, there are people who came from England with the surname judge as well. So, and it also turned into Abraham, as in Abrahamic law. Okay, so, the, and in a particular parish register in Leitrim, I have actually seen members of the same family recorded in one record as Abraham, in another record as Brehany, and in a, a third record as judge. So you do have to keep these things in mind, um, even though they are um, really very hard to, to to keep in mind. One of the the um, <clears throat> one of my favorites is Delahide. Okay, Delahide. It's not that that common, not that numerous. There we are, Delahide, mainly in the east. Um, there was a surname called. O'Skillian. Okay, let me just show you Skillian. S K I L L I A N. Or Skinian, rather. Skinian. Skin. Yeah, Skinian. There we are. Um, Skinian. And there. They're very strongly associated with, with North, um, North um, Calvin. Um, <clears throat> this. Where they were Oshkinion, okay? It, skin, somebody heard skin. Somebody said, what kind of uh, an English surname can I find that has skin in it? And found Hyde, Della Hyde. Um, a weird transposition because they're actually hearing an Irish, Gaelic Irish surname um, as if it has an English word in it and then transposing that to a different English word. So that the, the process can get very complicated and very messy. Um, one of the, the 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 most elaborate and peculiar is the surname Waters. Okay, because water is so important and so uh, common and in Ireland especially, um, the word the Irish word for water ishka, um, which is where whiskey comes from, by the way, um, ishka is widespread. So people, anybody with even a smattering of the Irish language would have known that Ishka meant water, which meant that you have surnames like Oturishk, Ohurishk, Ofurishk, Makanishka, all these surnames turned into waters. Um, so you here you have a list of them, waters, waters. Um, <clears throat> they Because somebody thought they heard the... The Irish for water in the name, and some ridiculous Makanishka, son of the water hand. Okay, that's the only one that actually does have have water in it. Um, Oturishk means grandson of the 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 cold strong man. Okay. <clears throat> um, another one, as I said, there, there's very little I can do other than just go through them one by one. Another one is Lochry, which is quite a, a, a common name. Lochery, if I spell it properly. Lochery, there we are. Um, Lochery comes from Oluchra. Oluchra, which means um, bright, white. Okay, it occasionally was anglicised as white. Um, but because the Irish for a rush, as in a rush or a reed, um, a, the plant growing by the river, was also uh, a lucher. So, Olucha, Lucher, they became Rush as well. So you have all completely distinct English surnames where people <clears throat> can have the same the same original Gaelic um, root. And <clears throat> finally, my one of my my favourites is Loan. L O A N E. <clears throat> Loan is is a very famous um, former. Ombudsman for Northern Ireland, now Baroness Nula O'Lone. Um, it's not that common a surname, but you can see there's a, there's a fair number of ways of spelling it. Um, 
and Olun comes from Olun, um, a warrior. And you can see the dictionary tells us it was often changed to Lan in the south. And the reason for that is that the the Irish for Lan is Uan. So Uluan, Uan. And they became lambs. And here are the lambs. And you'll see them all okay, much further south than the, the old lands. But <clears throat> again, you'll have settlers coming in from Scotland and from England called lamb. Um, and you have the original um, Oluans who are now being mistranslated as because again this the, this I, I sometimes wonder if it was the same bright spark doing all the things but anyway the one thing <clears throat> I could go on I think I already have gone on I mean there there are uh, Foley is one of them um, Kenevi Lavin Macananey uh, Bauer all of these names are names that um, were mistranslated. Bower, for example, because somebody thought they heard the Irish were bore in the original, um, even though it meant something completely different in the Irish original. So the, the, the whole point of this is to just give you a sense of how shaky the, the foundations of surnames and surname spellings in Ireland are and how um, broadly you have to fish if you're doing research in Irish records um, using uh, using a surname. Okay, I hope I've uh, I've unsettled you and made you insecure about who you really are. Job done. Thank you for listening.